Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That's Deb Chanel's 40th World. Hey, how y'all doing? Come on in. Let's sit down and chit chat. Okay, we getting this information, this commentary from, well I should say informational source for entertainment, celebrity news, gossip uh, from page six. Okay, y'all don't know who page six is? Go on to page6.com. And they are a pretty much blogging site as um, far as getting information on celebrities and their breaking news stories and all that jazz. Well, honey, you see that was kind of the guest panel that they call themselves having uh, to take up the time slot for Wendy Williams talk show. And of course, you know, they had her. <sighs> and she also played on um, Kings and Queens, uh, Lynn, what her name, Lynn Remy. And um, I didn't like the show. I've caught it a few times. It was kind of dry. kind of reminded me of Seinfeld or um, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah. But anyway, I don't understand why they feel they have to have guest panels to that's right waiting hell to the all to host the William Wendy show Wendy Williams show kind of getting tongue twisted guys I had an icy so my tongue is kind of cold but Wendy is out there looking all kinds of ways whoo child we've had many many rumors we heard her son told her she don't get her life together, get her shit straight. He gonna leave her. And we already know her husband, ex-husband left her for somebody else. Uh, we won't name her. But, I mean, she just played her position. I hear it seems like the mistresses and the side chicks, they don't want to stay hidden anymore. They want to come out and tell their story and be visible. It ain't like in the old days, in the 40s and 50s, honey, and probably earlier than that. If you were the mistress, if you were the uh, seen, well, not be seen or heard, kept in the bushes, kept in the dark type of player, uh, home wrecker, you were definitely, no, you were known about, but you definitely weren't talked about. Unless it was behind, behind closed doors. And you definitely wasn't going to be out seen in public. But now, how Chris Brown said, these hoes ain't loyal. And it goes for men's too, okay? Men can be hoes as well. But my whole take, and you know it's not none of my business. And I just really hate when people come on my um, platform and leave comments like... Uh, you need to stay out their business. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Uh, y'all just putting lies out there. Y'all just spilling untruths. Well, I just give my opinion on a subject with my YouTube family. Because I want to talk to myself. Even though I do talk to myself sometimes. Sometimes I answer myself. But that's just another whole story for another whole video. But how I view it is... When I hear something crazy or sensational or salacious and I don't have nobody to talk to, I come to the YouTube forum. Because I know somebody always either going to think like me or they're going to think another way. But it's going to be entertaining. But my whole thing is, why do you got to beat people up? Because they express their opinions. I do it on a larger platform. Because I invite people to come in and listen to my spiel or what I feel about a particular subject, topic, or breaking news type of event. I'm just giving you my opinion. And my opinion counts for something. You know what I'm saying? Even if only one person agree with me and that's myself. It counts for something. So don't knock what I am trying to say or give my opinion on. Because it's just that. My opinion. It's not stating that it's facts. I tell y'all all the time. Maybe not recently. But all of my stuff is just hearsay. Or I'm getting it from a reputable gossip 
source, okay? They had to go out there and do all the research. They had to go and see what was what was false and what wasn't. They go dug up information. I don't go. I don't do all that. That's like I'm in a grocery store waiting to check out. And I just happen to pick up one of them magazines on the side. And I sit there like, ooh, that interests me. Let me turn to what page it is. And if I like it, I might buy it. Uh, but, you know, those things are kind of high. Uh, those magazines that you look at when you're getting ready to check out. But the line ain't moving quick enough. So, you have to occupy your time. And you just pick up one of those Inquirer magazines or People magazine or, you know, whatever they got out there. And you just let your mind take flight, in a sense, until you can get on that, uh, get your groceries on the conveyor belt. You get rung up and get the hell out of that stove. So, I just had to make it very clear. Never going to address it again. <sighs> You can definitely say whatever you want to say or what you feel I am presenting. But just remember when you're telling me, I put it back to you and say, okay, you're trying to take up for them. But then you're doing the same thing to me that you said I was doing to them. Now make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. My idea is to come over here, enjoy my commentary or not, and... Keep it moving, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll get a laugh, you'll get a little kiki. And that's what we come here for on my channel. We don't come to beef. Because I could care less what y'all feel or don't feel. Or want to get in my ass about what I said. It still is, I said what I said. And ain't nothing going to change. Ain't nothing going to change. Because people is my opinion. And just like everybody have a butthole to release gas or feces. I got a mouth where I can say whatever I want to say about a particular subject. Because simply, it's just my opinion. It's not the God honest truth. It's not that I am trying to put somebody down. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. So I just wanted to say that. But getting back to Wendy. Because page six reported. Not me. Page six now, people. They reported that... They have to pay people now. Now, if you are in the New York area and you have extra time that you want to sit and uh, be in line for a couple of hours and then um, be able to get into the show, the sitting area, and spend another couple of hours watching something uh, that they tried to get closely to what Wendy really does, which it seems like it's been a total disaster because what is being reported is that the audience, as well as the retention of the audience, and the ratings are in the toilet, ready to be flushed, okay? So that says a lot about Wendy Williams. And where they get this panel from, I'm like, this show that Wendy has definitely brought out as something famous and being able to draw uh, celebrities out and about and to ask them personal questions about what's going on with them in social media and what she pretty much done dug up on them and wanting them to respond, which she used to do that on her radio station or radio station she was affiliated with back in the day uh, when she was like a, like a little radio personality DJ or something like that. That was cute. But people don't know. It's kind of hard to come up here and talk about gossip news because we don't know if it's the truth now wendy had staff that went out there and went to the courts and dug up everybody uh information then that's her you know what i'm saying but people that knew wendy that were friends with wendy when they saw what type of career she was headed for of course, they're not going to sit there and tell Wendy they dirt. Because nine times out of ten, Wendy would go on her show or talk to her peoples prior to her show. Uh, and talk about different people she had been around. And these different things were going on with them within their lives. And it's salacious. Now, to me, you cannot be true, true friends with someone like who's in Wendy's type of career because either you just want your business plastered out there or you're going to tell Wendy and then she's going to put it out there for you. Now, whether you want to put pause on her after she does it and she didn't get your consent, that's another story, okay? Or 
nine times out of ten, if you're in your feelings about it, uh, you might not be friends with Wendy down the road, and you might harbor some type of uh, ill will towards her. But one thing I've learned in my 53 years of living is that if you don't want something told, repeated, or brought up when it's supposed to be left in the dark, do your dirt by yourself and keep your mouth closed. Now, it's none of my business or how you want to handle whatever you're going through, however you're going through. But And, and you may get into an infraction of some sort that you don't want publicized or brought up. Because it may present some type of embarrassment for you. I would suggest to keep your mouth closed. You do your dirt, do your time, do your crime by yourself. And the only thing and the only person knows about it. Is the Lord. Okay. Because he see things before you even think you finna do them. Hoping that you won't take that route. But if you take that route. It's your choice. Because the Lord gives you free will. Okay. And that's every day. Doing your comings and goings. Some choices you make are just plain. They're black and white. No grays in between. And then some things you know you know is wrong. But then you still proceed to go down that road. And then some things you know you know is right. And you go down that road. But, like I said, every action has a reaction. Every um, thing that's done has a consequence to it if it's done in a negative way. But, Wendy has made a career out of gossip. And she damn sure did a great ass job. Especially to get celebrities to come to her show. And just chew the fat with her for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes tops. You know, of course, all that time is not being shown to us. It's being chopped up and uh, filtered out where it has a good taping. And it's uh, set where you want to sit there for the whole show. You know, you don't want to move because you, you, you might miss something. And that's what she has brought and built her career on. It's the foundation stands on gossip, news, beholding for our beloved celebrities out there. Now, of course, you got to have your haters out there, but they become your motivators. But it just depends on how you spin it. To whether you're going to have a lot of people still like you or people that's just not going to like you and they don't want to be bothered with you in real time so i'm sure with wendy basically wanted to take a hold of this type of career she knew she wasn't gonna have many friends she's gonna have more foes than friends but those same foes come back when they want uh publicity time when they want to promote something and wendy has a very huge following and she goes across the world. Her show is, you know, being shown in our homes. Those who want to partake of gossip. Because I feel like this. If you don't want to take hold of gossip or listen to gossip, you should not be watching shows like Wendy Williams. You should not be watching my YouTube. But curiosity kills the cat. And you always, people just have that innate ability to want to do right but then they want to look at something wrong and you know it's like they want to throw stones but they want to hide their hands but people such as myself you know we just say what we say we mean what we say and we we keep it moving now i'm not the type of person that's gonna come out and tell my friends business you know because that's not what i do now if i make a comparison you ain't going to know I'm talking about that person because I might put a little truth in there and I might fib a little, you know, just to make the story a little bit more juicier. But Wendy has gave her all. She has gave all or nothing. That's what built the Wendy Williams empire. Okay. And she had other people that want to spin it into other things. But as you can see, Wendy has made her niche. It has worked for her for so many years. And people love her for that. Plus, plus her being a New Yorker and that how you doing type of stance with her little fans. You know, she's a little diva. And she has a studio audience. And I just thought that was amazing. That, hey, 
these celebrities want to come on her show either to set the record straight or the stuff that she's been spewing out there that wasn't true or maybe some of it was true but it got embellished a lot you know what i'm saying so they want to come and defend themselves on a national wide tv platform where people can tune in her ratings go up her money go up her uh, position of power goes up and then the people that she dogged out or said something and they were just coming back to clarify or to get her straight they got vindicated because they felt they you know told her off or they got their story out on live public tv or tape public tv for the millions to see so i mean <laughs> lord knows she talked about whitney houston and bobby brown i mean she talked about everybody but everybody still seemed to tune in and give her those ratings. So that's the mind-boggling thing to me. If you don't like it, why watch it? Why even comment? You know, if you're so holier than thou, you know. Those without sin cast the first stone is what I always say. But, and then I, I watch House of Aaron. I don't know if y'all know about him. He's a newcomer, uh, vlogger, doing real well on his show. Go check him out. Okay, and tell him Delp Chanel's 40 World sent you on over there because I do be watching some of his stuff and I be liking some of his commentary and how he feels about certain things, but he still be getting bashed over there too by his um his people in his comments too. Um, but he's he, <laughs> I, I, he, he makes me chuckle. So anybody that can make me chuckle other than myself, I kind of like. Ooh, I'm going to watch them, you know, maybe not every day, but when I have spare time, I am going to watch him because he is just too funny. Okay, but anyway, that was a shout out. But, um, what I just feel about this whole thing, I don't really think they should have a panel. I think they're destroying it a lot more than they think they are helping the situation. And then maybe they want to destroy it, make the ratings go down, and they don't have to pay Wendy. You know, because they probably feel like her health is a, a, a issue because she's not getting any younger. And she has more years behind her than she has ahead of her. And she's had a good run. And with all her medical problems and all her emotional, mental problems she may be going through, you know, it's just, it takes a toll on a person. And then you want her to come up. And out and face the world when she's really torn. I mean, it's none of my business, like I said. But I got to speak my mind. Now, personally, I think Win uh, Wendy is just through, basically. And then hear me out when I say she's just through. I think mentally she's drained. Emotionally and physically, she can't do it anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody has their time. Just like everybody has their time to die. Everybody has their time for their career to be on a demise. You know, it's like she done made all her money. She done talked about everybody under the sun. And she's just waiting for more babies to grow up to be sensational so she can find dirt on them. Because I don't think she means any harm. But she feels like she has to let everybody know on what's going on with these celebrities including herself because she did put herself on a, a peak, um perp couch and talked about herself not you know fully too much in depth but we watched her go through pain and, and, and sorrow but yet she didn't really get a good chance to release it because she's always in the studio she's always trying to tape and then her mother passed she wasn't on good terms with her brother and it was just so much going on, and I don't think she had a time had time to release. And they say she was doing a lot of other stuff illicitly, you know, like doing the, the alcohol, drinking, drugs, and this, that, and the third that comes in that realm of living and socializing and being a part of. So many people have said it, so it has to be true, okay? That type of line life, that type of setting. However. It, I think it has just taken its toll on her mentally and physically. And she's using other avenues to release that pain. And it's causing her more harm than what she thinks she's doing to kind of put it at bay until she can really figure out what she want to do. Now, my deal is, I think you need to just cut it loose. Go and grieve your mother's death. Go and grieve your divorce. 
go and grieve, go and grieve the money that you had to give up on your ex-husband and the money that you know is yours that you giving him probably to the day you die because of the contractual agreement y'all put in place, which was dumb as dirt, but at the time... You know, you were loving on this man, and he was there for you, and this, that, and the third. And, of course, you never knew that he was going to do what he did, which was to cheat. Yeah, I had signed all these lovely contracts. You had put him on and, and, and promised him this, that, and the third. He stayed with you these many years, and then on top of that, so many other years. And, you know, it's just too much going on. And then when he felt like he didn't need you no more, um, the cost was... You're going to pay him pretty much for the rest of your life. And I guess you're grieving that too. Uh, and that's your brother. And that, to me personally, I would think that would be the per perfect person to host your show. Because he's likable. He loves the camera. He loves, I think he has his own YouTube channel. Because I caught him a couple of times. Very well spoken. He seems like he loves to vlog. He loves uh, the attention. He loves being in front of the camera. So he would be a great addition to um, tie you over until you can come back if that's what you really want to do. Or at least get the ratings up. Because, hey, anytime he, he want to drop in and buy some tea about you, I'm sure he'd be ready to go full blast and put a little embellishment on it. But, you know, at least he's kind of saving you. But I don't know if that's even a viable idea. I like keep it in the family, honey. Hell, have your son go up there and um, uh, do your show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He'll bring in a, a, a definitely younger crowd. But that's just my opinion. If you wanted to stay under that name, Wendy Williams, and your family get the credit while you're trying to get yourself together in rehab or dealing with your Graves disease or this, that, and that. At least you know it's still in the family. Even though I don't think we would want Kevin up there hosting shit. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 everybody be tuning in because everybody be trying to get on his behind. We're trying to get... These different people to to guest host until you get yourself together. Oh, it's going to die to me. It's going to be running faster in the ground. Then you just not having anything. They just showing commercials. Okay. But that would be my person or pick. Have your son come up there and be a host and have your brother be a host. Or even better, get a comedian, a black comedian. Because you can't put Caucasian, Asian, any other ethnicity or race up there when basically it was a black person hosting the show and telling people business. Now, would you have the pick of, pick of celebrities coming in, talking about other celebrities? No, nah, because it's really not their forte. you got to be a special person <coughs> to want to dish the dirt or be a gossiper or whatnot to spill out news like that. You can't train somebody for it. It's just like you already got to have the gift of gab and ready to tell this business and be ready to sit in, you know, the seat, the hot seat, because, you know, you're going to have people coming for you. But, yeah, I think her son would be an excellent host. Okay? Build up his career. But maybe he's just shy and he wants to be behind the scenes and that's not a good fit. But the brother would be an excellent other source to take her place you know but that's all i had on what i wanted to present and tell y'all how i feel about their bringing in all these different people like we don't want to see all them people they can't say how you doing man maybe Bev baby smill can a little bit but i don't want to see her either um i, I don't want to see her if it, if it don't have wendy on how you doing and all that kind of stuff dishing up dirt on people and kiki and all that not meaning no harm, not trying to be no foul on the play, but just giving you what you would probably read in any reputable magazine like People or OK Magazine. They're going to have issue. I mean, they're going to have, uh, what do you call it, illustration and pieces in their articles where they're talking about a celebrity going through this, that, and the third. But everybody seemed to respect People. Everybody seemed to respect OK Magazine 
or uh, Essence Magazine or anything like that. But when you say Wendy Williams or the Inquirer, oh, you don't put some bad taste in people's mouths. When it's all going through the same bowl, the same pot being stirred up, it's just it's painted another way. But anyway, let's get on into what page six had to say. We had Francesca Bacardi, a uh, writer, author over there, a uh, journalist, uh, wrote up her commentary on Wendy Williams' show paying people to sit in the audience during her absence. Now, Lord knows, when you got to pay somebody to sit up there and fill some spaces to act like this show got it going on in the absence of Wendy, you need to put a plug. Put the fork in the steak or the, the meat, the appetizer, whatever we eat. While when is away, hey, we need shit shit down. Is what we need shit shit down. Okay, cause it ain't, it ain't about nothing no more. When you got to pay people, and Lord knows if I was in New York, cause I already got my COVID shots and stuff of that nature. So I probably would venture on over there and get that seventy five dollars, cause that's what they said they were paying seventy five dollars a head. Okay, so it's in trouble, and they just need to pull the plug. Uh, because don't nobody want to watch it. I, you know, you, you just don't want to watch it. Then you have some people, uh, up there that ain't never really gossip about people before or held that type of arena. Uh, because you got to have some type of flair, you got to have some kind of kickback, you got to have some, you know, you got to have something, even if you got a hype man in the back trying to tell you what to really say, like trying to talk street wise. Or you just don't, you don't have it. You, you just don't have it. You know, it's just like somebody with proper English and proper etiquette. And then they're trying to gossip about somebody. And using all wrong acronyms and everything. It's just like, okay. Okay. Next. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but going on into the article. It says, desperate. Well, it says, the Wendy Williams show is paying people to sit in the audience during the host's ongoing absence. Despite... Uh, times call women desperate times calls for desperate uh, desperate measures. The Wendy Williams show is offering seventy five dollars cash to non union vaccinated people to sit in the studio audience next week when a guest host Whitney Cummings, whoever that is, films fill in for Williams, according to an email blast seen by page six. The Wendy Williams show is the provocative must see talk show. In daytime, the email and an online notice states, despite the fact that the so-called must-see show is desperate for an audience, $75 cash incentive given same day, three hours for taping, the message boasts. On Sunday, the Fox syndicated talk show turned to Instagram to call for fans to get their tickets online for Le Leah Remy's run this week. Okay? Making it clear that it isn't selling out any shows while Whitney focuses on her hell. Uh, a rep for the show didn't immediately return page six, re pages six request for a comment. Williams 57 is expected to be off the air through at least early November as she continues to recover from health woes stemming from her Graves disease. Former <clears throat> the View star Sherry Shepard would take on the role the first week of November. She's making progress but experiencing serious complications as a direct result of her Grace disease and her thyroid condition. The show's production company, Deb Mar Mercury, said in a statement, It has been determined that more time is needed before she is able to return to her live hosting duties. Williams was initially scheduled to start her new season on September 20th, but put, it got pushed back several times before because of the health complications, including testing positive for a breakthrough case of Ovid. She was later reportedly she was later reportedly taken to the hospital for a mental health evaluation. And then they pretty much uh goes on to say, you know, they won't win it back, but they're gonna continue to try to make some money out of this hell of a situation she has put them in because they had advertisers and sponsors sponsoring the show and all this kind of stuff. And they ain't trying to hit it. Okay, they, they want some magic to happen and they ain't trying to have no reruns being put on their dollars that they already done prepaid for. So it's a big marketing and advertising thing that I'm sure Delmar Mercury had done got their stuff into. So they're trying to uh, make it interesting, trying to pump it up in the absence of Wendy. And they're doing a poor ass piss job. Okay, I'm just saying, poor ass piss job. 
Because the ratings are in the toilet. I don't care who you bring. It's just going to be is what it is. Because they ain't windy. They're not a good gossip uh, type person. That's going to spill the tea. And then post some more for other people to drink. And they're going to keep talking about it. See. You ain't got that person. You ain't found that person. And you probably won't be that person. Alright. Or you can hire probably uh, a good name. Well known blogger to go up there. I mean, hell, put the shade room up there. They don't been on several platforms before and, and show how they get down behind the scenes and how they come up with these stories because they always gonna have some inside source, meaning somebody that's close to them, like a staff member or disgruntled or previous employee of them, or they might have some friends come out just trying to get that extra book, okay. Because everything's for sale when you're trying to sell a story, even though they say it's not. And people be saying they ain't paying them. Their interview is just free. They just free will want to get shit off their chest. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Money's being passed around or some type of perk. You best believe that. But that's all I had on this story. We can keep Wendy and her family in prayers. And Wendy, it's okay. It is okay to relinquish the reins and go on into the sunset and do you, boo. Because you definitely deserve it. Going through a divorce and half your money going to your ex. And you know he's spending it on his mistress with that child. Okay. <sighs> then your mama died. And then your all your health complications. Girl, it's time to take care of self. And let self be enough and all the money that you have made thus far. Give it to somebody else. You've done your job. You did it beautifully. Okay. And a lot of people ended up respecting you for it. Or not. But it just is what it is. That's all I got for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate. But go on out there and share that girl stuff. Share my videos. Share and like my videos. Okay? Thank you so very much. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.